Well, I, I'd say that one of the things that I, I do pretty systematically is to integrate the research concerns that I have into courses that are taught at a kind of high undergraduate and graduate level. And then as I work things out and I understand them better and figure out good ways of explaining them, which I like doing, uh, then I can figure out how to, how to insert them into the introductory courses. So many of the things that I teach in the Einstein Revolution course, which is a big, no prerequisite course that I, I teach for undergraduates uh, in the general education program, came out of research problems that I was working on shortly before, but sort of got to the point where I could explain and illustrate in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a clear way that would be inviting to somebody with no background. Most of my courses, the upper level courses, have a great mix from freshmen to uh, postdocs and uh, visiting journalists and scholars. So it's, it, it's, I, I like very much having that mix of students. I enjoy collaborating tremendously, and um, I think I've, I've done it more and more. For me, learning about the world, there's nothing better in learning about the world than being able to imagine how somebody who you respect enormously would see and parse a problem. And with my collaborators, I've, I've been able to, to see that, both in teaching and in, in my research. Uh, Rob Moss, for example, with whom I've taught a, a, a course called Filming Science now for coming on 10 years, is a tremendously imaginative, interesting, and innovative filmmaker. And so after a while, I, I could sort of guess how he'd see an editing problem around a particular scene. And with Martha Minow also, I, you know, she, she, she wants to really understand what the implications are for the individual's relationship to society and to politics and how law serves as a mediation between big political structures and individual comportment. Uh, and I could say something similar for each of the people with whom I work. Uh, Jeffrey Schnapp likes to see things, uh, to say, let's start with the online presence and then think about how material objects or exhibits or literary texts might follow from that instead of seeing the online as something secondary and subordinate. So I learn a tremendous amount from, from my colleagues and uh, the chance to work with them uh, and to around problems that are of enormous concern to me uh, is, 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 is great and I think it's fun for the students to be able to see something being worked out. It's sort of like having my arm ripped off of my socket. You know, it's like I'm constantly being pulled in some direction um, because there's an idea and he's, um, he's, he's relentless. I mean, he never, he never stops. He never sleeps. He never takes a vacation. It's not, all, all that's not true, but there is a way in which he's um, um, he's extremely alive to the issues of whatever it is we're doing. So that can be the classroom, that can be our filmmaking. Um, his mind is constantly working, we're on to something else. Um, <laughs> it's a pleasure to work with him, it's incredibly fun. Um, and health begins to occupy the role that salvation might have occupied in the, in the 18th century. So, Maintaining health through intervention, the identification of causes, the understanding of pathology. So this is, so you just two complete, that's why he calls this an archaeology of medical perception, because it's like different ways of looking at the same thing, right? Somebody comes in with chickenpox, what do you see? One of the great things about the research university is that it's a chance to, for students from the first day they come here, if they choose their courses right, to, to, to be in the midst of knowledge as it's unfolding and, and not just to be getting a popularized version of something that's been watered down ten times until it appears in a textbook. And I think that's, that's something that you can do. Uh, in a research university, and it's something that's very evident in team teaching. So I like that, and I like involving the students in, in, a, 
in a site, in a space where something, something new is happening.